and today the third part is aha uh, i'm ready i'm get ready to explain you in detail and two parts in third part or in third class uh, class number 3 in detailed um, try to uh, listen uh, carefully and and understand with the definitions and examples and uh, um, the introduction part each and everything you have to grasp grasp and understand and in detail that is my opinion my dear students next uh, in the screen we have to see in that one is uh, here the apostrophe is there apostrophe sorry apostrophe is there i have been underlined you don't confuse and here the definition is as given here the definition it is a direct address to some inanimate thing or inanimate thing is more important here inanimate thing is more important and some abstract idea abstract idea abstract idea and were living if it were living person or some absent person as if you are present for example boy's mother loved him very much here uh, oh sorry oh, okay very good here you should understand the figures of speech which is a uh, apostrophe it is more important this figures of speech he uh, has been used uh, by many writers many poets uh, who are uh, very interested in writing the literature that means apostrophe generally uh, an ordinary student uh, uh, already we all know apostrophe means uh, it is the uh, one of the punctuation mark uh we can we can't consider the uh, it is one of the uh, figurative language it is also a figurative language of apostrophe a literary device not only punctuation mark it can be um either a punctuation a punctuation mark a punctuation mark or a literary device it has done two functions depending on the on the context for example as a punctuation mark it signifies uh, it elision elision means uh, the omission of a sound or syllable while speaking or writing that is the elision that means omit and is used when letters or words are contracted and are uh, omitted or merged Here, for example uh, the full form is uh, it is we should write the apostrophe its its is a a contracted form that means we keep apostrophe in this place we should omit one or more letters in this place that is the uh, regarding to punctuation mark for example i am i am i am i am i am it is apostrophe i apostrophe am it means i means i am don't do not don't don't i haven't have not willn't won't which uh, for example we write uh, won't we write won't won't it is called willn't i want to go there will not won't means will not won't means will not we 
refers to here apostrophe relating to the punctuation marks it has done that type of the function apostrophe that is belongs to the punctuation mark our class is figures of speech it is also one of the figure of speech among the many figures of speeches as a figure of speech as a figure of speech as a literary device apostrophe is commonly applied in fiction or music or poetry or prose any type of genres in the scenario a character is seen or imagined alone or solo alone means solo alone alone solo single alone and thinking he her thoughts out her thoughts out for example apostrophe is a rhetorical rhetorical device rhetorical rhetorical means a speech or writing intended to be effective and influence people that is the uh, uh, given the speech uh, uh, effective speech it uh, it influences the audience or people that rhetorical device means uh, apostrophe is also rhetorical device by which speaker turns from the audience uh, as a whole to address a single person or thing in literature all the figures of speech uh, have played um, figures of speech has, have played a main role for the writer or poet or author apostrophe is a, a figure of speech sometimes represented by an exclamation mark he he it exclamation exclamation as such as o oh, a ah, o oh, oh, exclamation interjections a writer or speaker using apostrophe he speaks directly to someone who is not present or dead that is more important who is not present or dead d e d dead that means our speeches are we are should inanimate object inanimate object means non living being it refers to speech or address to a person who is not present or to personified object that is the meaning of the apostrophe the definition why did apostrophe used in literature many writers or authors to direct the readers after written the book the readers attention to grasp the attention of the readers to do something other than the person who is speaking apostrophe is frequently target an absent person or a third party other times they focus on an inanimate object a place or even an abstract idea it is a figure of speech in which a speaker directly address someone or something that is not present or cannot respond in reality there is there is no person there here there is no person he person may be dead we are talking it with inanimate object or place an abstract noun an abstract idea our thought for example inanimate objects we are speaking it is called apostrophe it is one of the major figure of speech in english literature oh coffee my sweet coffee what would i do without you one person has regularly taken coffee he is not getting coffee when he has a desire to take coffee he is interested to take coffee on that time he feels like that he is addressing the coffee it is not a, it is not a living being it is a non living being inanimate object a liquid an abstract noun a liquid oh coffee my sweet coffee <laughs> what would i do without you that is the apostrophe for example please please clouds if now we know we need not the rain we are uh, we are doing function we are marriage function no we don't accept the rain it may be rain uh, the it may be disturbed 
we may also the much and more and on the time the speaker oh please could you please clouds don't rain today don't rain today we are addressing the uh, clouds clouds is not a human being it is also inanimate or not living not non living being for example shoes you i uh, we have a, a great desire ambition to to buy the a uh, good shoes for for us on that time we express an apostrophe uh, figure of speech figuratively apostrophe shoes oh shoes my beautiful shoes my beautiful shoes you will look great with my black plaid shirt we are addressing the shoes shoes are also inanimate object and then it is not having a life it is non living being for example cell phone it is an object we should uh, um, you should apply the um, apostrophe as a figure of speech oh oh cell phone my dear cell phone why don't you load my messages why don't you trouble me get my messages very quickly i am i am pleading you i am requesting you oh oh cell phone my dear cell phone why don't you load my messages this is we express in apostrophe for example night night stars we are discuss, discussing we are we are talking about today we appeal we, we we are talking we speak with with them we tell them our difficulties oh holy night a hey, precious night oh holy night the stars are brightly shining the stars are brightly shining about the stars about the night these are all inanimate object we apply we we are using the figurative language in the form of the apostrophe one of the figure figures of speech regarding to our life 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 i cannot understand you my life we are facing many troubles ups and downs adverse and disadvantages difficulties we are facing many troubles the and that time we feel like that for addressing we are greeting life we are asking our life we are requesting life life i cannot understand you and then we go to the one of the example computer computer when the computer is not working properly we must be very irritated on that time addressing the computer in the figures of speech of the apostrophe why don't you ever work my dear computer you stupid computer why don't you work ever work you should not to do properly you should not function properly you are always making trouble to me why don't you ever work you stupid computer next bell bell wo oh, ring wo oh, bell and then we are asking the captain oh captain but he is not there we are we are expressing in our mind in our soul in our thought internally intimate thought internal thought oh captain my captain our fearful training trip or training is done and about the eyes don't tell me now dear eyes we are when we are going to bed when we are very tired we are not able we are the, in the lethargy moment and we are going to bed oh bed i last at last i can be with you at night after very tired before going to bed in this type we are uh, we are implementing in the form of the figures of speech apostrophe apostrophe is a a stream of consciousness aside association of thoughts a chain of thoughts free association in the monologue monologue means a long speech by one actor in a play during a 
during a common to speech and yeah a monologue inner monologue a long speech a long speech in a play or a during in a conversation in conversation solo lucky is also one of the uh, related to uh, drama or play it is one of the character monologue in inferior monologue apostrophe is a mind mapping it is a train of thoughts appealing or speech this is the apostrophe we are appealing the word apostrophe which came from ancient greek literally what is the meaning of literally it is turning away it is an exclamatory figure of speech when comparing all the figures of speech it is particularly exclamatory figures of speech it is one it is a wonderful explanation to attract the readers attention and sometimes so introduced by oh oh in a literature oh romeo romeo where far art thou romeo one more example it is found in poetry mostly it has been used by the poets or poetesses in the poetry or plays in dramas or in literature jan taylor uses apostrophe the figure of speech in famous poem what is the name of the poem he has written the star twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so sky like a diamond in the sky this poem is must and and popular it is a, it is a most popular poem nursery rhyme in which a child speaks the child is speaking with a star it is an inanimate object it is not a living being the child the children the kid the baby is speaking to a star which is an inanimate object the stars are inanimate objects it has no life it is found in a song or lyrics the apostrophe is a wonderful figure of speech in a poems and lyrics also it creates a, a, a direct emotion so between the singer and the subject that is more of, more important apostrophe what the functions what is the function of apostrophe a figurative language the main function of an apostrophe is to personify abs, absent things non exist things non exist things absent things are uh, non exist things non existence non exist things ideas to bring them to life they they become to life we have been drawn to the life the writers are able to develop perspective that is as well as a creative and using the apostrophe figure of speech this figure of speech is a develop a perspective as well as creativeness in his in their writings it is a suitable for writer readers readers also to correlate them they they to correlate themselves in abstract emotions when they observe them in their natural surroundings writers try to bring lifeless ideas or non existent existent persons to life without life that type of ideas that type of non existent persons writers to bring the life readers understand the reader who are studying the those writings which has used most of the apostrophe is figure of speech readers understand this tool of the writing that is more important to about the figures of speech and then it has been completed i expect to, you should must be clear about the apostrophe apostrophe you should clear about apostrophe means just you should remember that it is a stream of consciousness and inner monologue in in inferior monologue or mind mapping it is a train of thoughts that is more a we are appealing 
we appeal to one objective inanimate object that is important you have to understand the definition is more important it is part of something used refer to it is it is more important for the writers to express their ideas and it is a it is commonly used it is commonly used it rhetorical rhetorical device rhetorical device thinking the character is seen imagined it is used in fiction and music also poetry also that is more important you should understand the main definition you should understand and examples are also you should remember always apostrophe is speaks directly to someone who is not present or dead or speaks to inanimate object that is more important address to a person who is not present that is the definition of the apostrophe and then my dear students it is it clear to you or not have you understand or not i think i hope you are, you have to understand and then hyperbole hyperbole is one of the figures of speech he is a statement made emphatic by over statement here the one more important over statement and emphatic emphasis sorry emphasis emphatic statement or over statement and for example virtues as the sands of the shore hyperbole 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 you should understand the figures of speech mostly commonly asked in many competitive examinations and mostly the writers have been using the hyperbole before that hyperbole sinak ah before hyperbole hyperbole and then after completion of the apostrophe we go to the hyperbole okay very good hyperbole hyperbole over over statement over statement means the meaning of exag exaggerated statements a claims not meant to be taken literally exag exaggerated statement hyperbole is when we use the language to exaggerate what you mean or emphasize 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 a point it is often used to make sound bigger or better than it actually is or make something sound more dramatic we should say dramatic dramatic hyperbole means it is an over statement over statement we should understand over over statement over statement over statement actually we should excess excess means it is over state exaggerates as a particular condition for emphasis to tell something more something excess something not something we should more and more excess actually what is there we should not say for example i am hungry i could eat a horse i could eat a horse it is possible to eat the horse horse means hungry his feelings of too much hunger or hungry it he expressed oh, i am hungry i could eat a horse even that hyperbole the word from it has derived from the uh, greek language it is a greek word that means excess x it is a greek word that means excess excess over statement the figure of speech that uses exaggeration a statement that represent something as better or work that it really is to make something seem larger larger and most important better more important then it literally meaning 
it is a exaggeration it is a overstatement it is a magnification it is a amplification it is a embroidery and enlargement embellishment it is a coloring it is a hyping hyping we are hyping hyping means over over statement the emphasis sound bigger sound better that is the hyperbole hyperbolic catharsis it is a figure of speech and literary device it creates highlighted effect that is more important highlighted highlighted h i j h l a t highlighted we highlighted the effect through deliberate exaggeration hyperbole is a broadly overstated exaggerated claim or statement that adds something throughout the intentionally being literally true it is often used in in seriousness at a yeah, hyperbole is also used this figure of speech in his seriousness comedy tragedy and comic uh, ironic effect for example i am dying of thirst i am de- dying of thirst thirst i am dying of thirst t h i r s t thirst is a noun form thirsty is a adjective form i am dying of thirst i feel very uh, too much thirsty i want to drink water immediately that in that occasion in that situation i am dying of thirst it is a hyperbolic statement then ne- ne- next uh, i am so tired that i could not speak for a week i could not sleep for a week i could not sleep for a week it is a exaggerated statement he was tired he is going to bed and he want to get to sleep it expressed he is a, even a, uh, any person who uh, doesn't speak uh, sleep one week or 10 days continuously no it is a, it is a hyperbolic statement for example she is more beautiful than the moon and stars we comparing the that woman that lady the beautiness of the woman with the stars and moon it is a exaggerated statement over statement it is a hyperbolic statement we use the figure of speech in hyperbole many advertising companies for example we have seen many advertisement companies they are using the figure of speech hyperbole who are using the hyperbole mainly advertising companies and they slogans also they are using figurative language hyperbole why did they are using the hyperbole any companies any industries they are using hyperbole why they are using hyperbole statements to way attract the customers in their products through the over estimate over statements through the exaggeration statement many customers attracted their products that's why they are using many advertisement companies are using hyperbole figurative language it is an effective in creating movie lines that we use humorous and dramatic which makes them memorable as well as for audience is a rhetorical and literary technique where an author or speaker intentionally uses exaggeration or stay over statement of emphasis or effect the word hyperbole is derived from greek word that means throw above we hype that we should hype them throw above we should add coloring for the in the hyperbole figurative speech and then importance of hyperbole often used in, we should also all the public are using day to day life or day to day speech upon seeing our uh, our friends after a long absence the best friends are there for example two best friends are there they are far away dispersed or parted yes a long time they should not meet 
recently. On the time, one of the friend uh, said when suddenly, unexpectedly they met at the market when we were going to buying the vegetable. On the time, the one of friend said to him and tell him, I have not seen you in a million of years. That means you, your friend both know that this is not a literally the case. Million of years. We are not living even 50 years or 60 years healthy, but million of years. What an exaggerated statement it is. That friend tell he is not seen for two days or one week also. He feels like that. His expression like that. His inner feeling, his inner thought. I have not seen you in a million years. That means literally is not correct. That case, hyperbole is used to emphasize how long it feels since you last saw my dear friend. It uses exaggeration to emphasize a certain characteristic of something. It can be used to communicate all kinds of feelings or amuse or surprise people with creativity and description. For example, I am so hungry, I could eat ours. I am dying of laughter. Laughing, over laughing. He is laughing. He is continuously laughing. I am dying of over laughter. Not literally dying. He may, uh, when he was laughing, he may be dead. We die. He, does, he didn't die. But he is using the hyperbole and figuratively communicate. How odd. How hard he is laughing. How did he laugh? For example, I had to wait in the station for a 10 days. Is any, any passenger is uh, waiting for the train in the station for a 10 days? 10 days? Do you understand? Is it a common thing? It is reasonable? It is not at all reasonable. It is a hyperbole statement. 10 days is not a literally an eternity. However, for this character, 10 days felt like an incredibly a long time. I have been waiting for very a long time. That type of expression we should do, express in hyperbole statement. I had to wait in the station for 10 days. It is through said the hyperbole. It is the importance of the hyperbole. That statement, I have a million things today, to do today, million things. That means I have so much work, not a million things. I have a ton of homework. The students are felt who have given the homework. They feel I have a ton of homework, ton of homework, ton of homework, ton of homework. Heavy homework, all teachers, all subject teachers has given a single student. Homework they feel, the student felt that on that time most burden, he expressed your thoughts in, in mind, yeah, inner monologue, I had, I had a ton of homework. He feel like that. For example, the car went faster than the speed of the light on. We should state the statement, hyperbole state. Is it possible to go the uh, to end the car with speed of the light uh, comparing when it went the speed of the light uh, it disappear we are also disappear we our lives also lost if the car went faster than the speed of the light uh, we are not uh, in the world we left from the uh, the a, a stage a life is a drama we are the players the entire stage we get down from the stage, that means we have died. The car is not also disappear. It never be seen again. <laughs> this is the hyperbole statement. The car went faster than the speed of the light. For example, my friend has got tons of money. Is it possible to get the tons of money, a particular a single individual person? It is a hyperbole state. He has, uh, he has more money. He is a business magnet. That is okay. My geography teacher, 
older than the hill. That means he is too old person. Older than the hill. The hill. This is the hyperbolic statement. We should understand. We should um, study more, more and more examples to understand. He is running faster than the wind. He is running more fast. This, this bag weighs a ton much heavy. Ton means a much heavy. This is worst day of my life. Worst day means bad day. The shopping can't cost me a million dollars costly. We may, we may spend a million dollars as an individual. It is not possible. My dad will kill me when he comes home. One child is, uh, has expressed his inner feeling. That means uh, his dad may be punished. His dad may be punish him. Simply punish him. That, uh, that type of intention, that type of idea, that child expressed, my dad will kill me when he come home. I will kill you if, you if you do that work. You don't go there. That means uh, actually we kill our child. Our, our children. We did not kill our children. But this is a hyperbolic statement. For example, there is enough food in the kitchen to feed an entire army or military. That means sufficient food is there. Speaker does not literally mean that there is enough food to feed the Hundreds of people in the army. He is saying that he is using hyperbole. For example, this is the worst book in the world. Mean that the book is the worst forever written. But using hyperbole. A dramatic emphasize their opinion. It is impossible to complete this project. That means it is difficult. I have read this book a hundred times. Hundred times I have read many times. My brother is stronger than iron. That means iron. Iron means he is so strong. So strong. So strong. I am so sad that I am drawing in tears. I am very depressed. Your brain is in the size of the pea. Pea means a very small in the size of the pea. All these hyperbole statements, it is often used in the poem and books because it helps to emphasize part of the strong and evoke response from a reader. It can help the writer to get their point across so that we understand as a, the emotions, the seriousness, the humor of the situation. For example, last example and conclude this hyperbole. That is, for example, we take one of the hyperbolic statement. The suitcase is generally heavy. It is a lot of weight. And then I, I made a statement, exaggerated statement, overstatement, hike, hike statement. The suitcase weighed a ton. That means in this example, suitcase weighed a ton. In this example, the speaker, I claims that a suitcase weighed in a ton. Of course, this does not mean that a suitcase is literally weighed a ton. Literally, it is not correct. I am using hyperbole in order to emphasize that suitcase, I feel very heavy, so heavy. It is too much heavy to carry. It is too heavy to carry. Too, too. We are in the grammar too, too. Too much heavy to carry, to bring that suitcase. That statement we tell, we express exaggerated, the, uh, my suitcase weighed, weighed a ton. Okay, my dear students, you should, uh, I, I clear your the doubts, regarding to hyperbole uh, uh, figure of speech and goes to uh, last one that is the seventh one seventh one is uh, synecdoche 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 is the understanding of one thing 
by means of another this is more important one thing by means of another for example we take we take one of the example is there synecdoche to designate the whole or the whole and the person or to designate a part this is more important this is more important a part is used to designate the whole the whole is used to designate a part i have the viceroy love the man one example has given and synecdoche synecdoche the definition is part whole whole part this is more important synecdoche means what is the meaning of this synecdoche the definition of this synecdoche we should understand the synecdoche is part to, to understand the part and the leads to whole it is a figurative speech in which most often a part something is used to refer its whole we we we, we express a part but it 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 complies it include a whole that is the synecdoche the synecdoche statement a figurative language a literary device for example this is a simple example i will tell you some of the vocabulary you know you to understand the synecdoche without the vocabulary we should not understand anything try to understand the captain commands 100 sails so what is the meaning of sails it is a small thing sail sails means in a synecdoche that uses sails to refer to ships the captain commands 100 ships that meaning of the sails that is smaller thing to larger thing that part to, we should mention the part we understand the whole it is a figure of speech that uses the name of a part of something to represent the whole part is a sail the whole is a ship it is a image it is a trope it is a face it is a figure it is a heart a figure of speech in which a part is made to represent the whole or vice vice versa the vice versa means we utter the part we understand the whole we utter the whole we understand the part through the part we understand the whole through the whole we understand the part that is vice versa it is literally device which a past which a part of something is substituted for the whole we substitute part in the place of the whole we substitute whole in the part in the in the place of the part sail is a part ship is a whole that means synecdic synecdoche synecdical synecdically we are expressing for example a pair of hands pair of hands means physically the hand does not hands a pair of hands means a worker pair of hands is a part a worker is a whole we approach the law law means the police officer we complain to the law the police officer the police we complain to the police officer police officer is a part the law is a the judiciary is a whole a part is used for whole the whole is used for part the special is used for general the general is used for the special that is the meaning of the synecdoche synecdoche definition is more important and then we should understand through the example some vocabulary we should know for example which is the part which is the whole in in day to day conversations in our reading comprehension we find out number of synecdoche what is the synecdoche wearing heels she is wearing heels signifies it, it it introduces it signifies it represents high heeled shoes wearing heels means green thumb 
what is the meaning of the green thumb do you know green thumb green green thumb green thumb t h u m b b is a silent green thumb a person who is good at gardening who is nursing the the, the, the plants he is interested to plant trees and growing of the trees that that person is called green thumb it is a part a person who is good at gardening is a whole through the part we should understand the whole matter the entire message the big message a big message is included in the part the pentagon what is the meaning of the pentagon pentagon is a us military leaders england simply we should, we call england england means a great britain boots on the ground that means soldiers wheels wheels means vehicle pearly gates means heaven threads means clothing twinkle toes means a dancer twinkle toes toe the fingers of the leg is called foot is called toe twinkle toes a dancer well for, for example uh, we put uh, they are uh, they are rooting they are uh, they are criminals they are the, be, uh, doing thefts some criminals are they are when you are giving something we put uh, you, we put you uh, behind the bars behind the bars means what is the meaning of behind behind the bars is a part of synecdoche through that uh, simple word we understand we put in jail or prison that is the mean behind the bars you may be go to the behind the bars if i complete the uh, police report behind the bars means indirectly we said uh, we sa- we send you we send them we put them in a jail that is the meaning of we understand through the part the whole message the inner meaning there are two types of synecdoches one is the microcosm and another is the macrocosm we are we have already in economics micro macro micro means very small macro means very big microcosm macrocosm microcosm in the synecdoche the phrase for synecdoche in which smaller part signifies larger part that means behind the bars is a smaller part is the microcosm and put the jail behind the bars means being in jail jail is a macrocosm that means microcosm signifies a smaller a smaller collection of parts a smaller part to larger part it signifies larger part macrocosm on the other hand in this phrases in synecdoche in which large or whole signifies a smaller collection or part for example a boy has been admitted in the hospital we take or why to uh, admit in the hospital one of the parent uh, has taken his child to hospital so uh, due to his ill health on the time after uh, uh, admitted in the bed the the nurse came there and say, said him what did he, he given the statement he given the synecdoche statement he is good hands he is good hands good hands he is good hands he is he is good hands good hands means he is in good hands the father has scared at her, at her nurse what is his good hands he is suffering for illness but he, he stated he has given a statement synecdoche statement He, the patient is in good hands the patient is suffering is ill health a severe disease attack attacked but the, the nurse has has given a statement this patient is good hands that means uh, not physically good hands 
the boy is literally being taken care by only two hands it is not a meaning it is not a meaning through the smaller part signifies larger part this is macrocosm in synecdic she expresses macrocosm in synecdic he is being taken care by me the entire hospital has taking care the entire hospital system including nurses assistants doctors and many others all the all the system we have been working to survive the to pure to, to survive the this boy he take from the dangerous okay. we are cured the diseases he recovered from the diseases not only two hands the entire hospital system including nurses assistants doctors and many other equipments are there there is no doubt to your about your child we are being treated well versed this is the example this is the microcosm synecdoche at the same time it is a part signifies whole this is a microcosm synecdoche whereas we go to the uh, macrocosm synecdoche for i will explain you one example the department of education announced uh, new plans uh, for the education reforms department of education it is a whole that means as a whole cannot literally make such an announce announcement is not uh, uh, many persons only one person has announced head of the uh, say, uh, principal secretary or head of the department department of education one of the official is there he announced that means for example our school announced a holiday tomorrow the school means our headmaster concerned headmaster the school is a whole the part we should understand concerned headmaster or gazetted headmaster who is responsible who is in charge of the school he announced the holiday tomorrow not a school school did not announce at the same time rather the, the individual or the set of individuals put together the announcement this is the example of uh, macrocosm synecdoche as a whole speaks uh, as a part that means synecdoche means simultaneous understanding vice versa it is a type of figurative speech used to uh, attaching a human characteristic uh, to the non human object the substitution for example bling what is the meaning of the bling do you know the meaning of the bling it expressed in the synecdoche i bought the bling i went to the city and i bought i purchased bling bling means jewelry we have seen the boots boots means for soldiers simultaneous meaning it allows for a smaller component of the something to stand in for the larger whole the rhetorical manner in the opposite direction in which larger whole expresses uh, as a word or idea that is more important before concluding this class i will explain you one thing regarding this one synecdoche for example yes uh, uh, i am micro microcosm synecdoche i am explain in the examples microcosm microcosm means from smaller to larger he is a, a gray beard gray beard means physically he is a gray beard means that means gray beard means uh, old man it indicates as a whole old man for example thus the suits are coming to do the uh, yearly audit suits means what is the meaning of synecdoche statement suits suits s u i t s suits the suits are coming to do the yearly audit suits means businessman next the boots are in the battle what is the meaning of boots already we have told you what is the synecdoche boots means soldiers 
soldiers. I will have a Coke. Coke means a brand of cola flavor. For example, he wore glasses. He wore glasses. What is the meaning of glasses? Glasses means spectacles. He wore spectacles. For example, the women are forever wagging tongue. Wagging tongue. Wagging tongue means she is gossiping. G O S S I P I N G. Gossiping. He is always gossiping. He is always talking. For example, two eggs for a head. For a head means for people, for a student, for a head. We are we are using for a head. How much? Uh, how much amount for a head? For a head. For a head is a synecdoche statement, microcosm statement. For a head means for people, for a candidate, for a student. That is the meaning of for a head. Music is. My breadwinner. What is the breadwinner? What is the meaning of the breadwinner? My father is the breadwinner. B R E A D breadwinner. My father is breadwinner means it represents food or general in money. He is earning person. To go for a work in the woods. What is the meaning of the woods? It comes in the noun form woods. W O R D woods. Woods means. It is a microcosm from smaller to larger, from part to whole. What is the whole? Woods means a forest. To go to for to go for a work in the forest. It means to go for forest. It is a versatile literary device. And use synecdoche many reasons. It can elevate. Elevate means high. raise elevate it is elevate the language hike the language making a sentence or phrase sound to make a sound more interesting more poetic help to writer to, to create a strong voice or character for a narrator that is the meaning of the synecdoche synecdoche is a statement it is more useful for writers or poets to understand the meaning of the understand that is more important and then all these three important all these three important figures of speech i explain you all these three important figures of speech i explain you each and every one and that my dear students you should understand you should understand synecdoche it is a elevate elevate language it is useful to elevate the language elevate means raising in the rank writers use synecdoche in many reasons making the sentence as a phrase it more sound more interest more poetic it help to write create a strong voice for a character for a narrator it is the meaning of this synecdoche that uh, uh, we should understand through the more and more examples uh, each and every figure of speech after uh, we understand thoroughly then only we attempt the exams very easily in the examination they have been asking the definition of the figures of speech they have given one of the example this statement uh, belongs to in which figure of speech they have given the options or multiple choice question if you understand the thorough understanding in detail understand we should we should not clear understanding we should not able to clear understanding of the figures of speech we are not able to answer any fig, any figure of speech we should not get the marks in the test in the competitive examination my humble request is all the students if you don't understand in a single watching you should watch again and grasp and grasp and attain and seek and receive the good information and then you study some of the material after listening the class you should easily understand now once again all of you my best wishes my best wishes uh, uh, my best good luck to you uh, uh, goodbye all of you
my dear students tomorrow see you next tomorrow's class uh, uh, remaining figures of speech i will explain you it has been divided into 10 parts today's class uh, uh, today's part is third part we have completed uh, three parts in the three parts uh, we have expressed simile a metaphor uh, hyperbole uh, synecdoche uh, metonymy all these uh, we have been uh, explaining from uh, apostrophe also uh, simile metaphor personification metonymy apostrophe hyperbole synecdoche the seven three days uh, uh, three figures of speech uh, remaining two classes four uh, seven figures of speech uh, i have been uh, i have completed uh, today's class uh, goodbye all of you thank you one and all